What's up, guys? Okay, so I'm going to talk about this subject. It's a huge subject. Sorry about the screen. It's going crazy. So as people refer to all the time, HGH guts are roid guts, okay? So you can see above here, uh, Marcus Haley's on the left, Kai's on the right. So there's been debates and people's like, what causes? People think it's like you just take a bunch of growth hormone and it causes this. And it's kind of like a combination. It's a little more complex than that, okay? So taking excess excesses of amounts of HGH can cause growth of the organs, but that's not what's causing the distinction, the distinction on stage, okay? That's not it at all. I know MMA guys that take tons and tons of GH because they can't get detected for that. I know other people that take tons of GH. Sometimes the insulin and growth hormone combined can cause you know some water on your in that area and, and you know to, pu to push out. Uh, you know, becoming insulin resistance can cause some visceral fat inside to make the abdominal bigger. But usually it all comes down to food. When you get on stage, because most of these pictures you're viewing are bodybuilders and they're on a competitive stage or they're doing a photo shoot after a show. So when you get on stage, we do a thing called carving up where we eat pretty much as many carbs as we can possible trying to fill up our muscles because we do a depletion phase where we deplete the car carbs and glycogen, then we load, okay? So I usually would load for like three or four days prior to a show and just eating tons of carbs. I remember I was eating probably about, oh man, three to four cups of rice sometimes per meal. Plus I was doing like carbohydrate drinks. So it was a lot. So when you're this low body fat and you're slamming all these carbohydrates and food down that's mainly what causes this on stage okay of course you want to have a good bowel movement before you go up on stage but eating all the protein and everything on the on the diet you know you need to take care of your gut health okay that's why i always have clients take a good fiber supplement but this is not from just like growth hormone or insulin this is a combination it's mostly from food because i have a lot of bodybuilder friends and i've experienced it sometimes myself especially when i got a lot bigger when I was like a light heavyweight or he when I got up to super heavyweight, when I got a lot bigger, the more food, the more mass, I had a little harder tr time controlling my stomach, okay? Um, and vacuuming wasn't a big, it wasn't very popular at this time because classic physique wasn't out yet. So in this era, it wasn't that popular, but it's really food with the, all the food the bodybuilders eat on stage to carve up, to make the stomach push out. Of course, we don't want that to happen, but we have to fill up our other muscle groups also. So you'll see a lot of guys with really big waists, and once they retire, their waists go down. If it was due to HGH making it grow, it would stay that way. So.